So this video is going to look at creating an offline event set so that if you're taking sales calls and the sales event is happening like via the phone, they're not landing on a page with a purchase pixel installed. This can help you track uh, the performance of your ads as to which ad sets are actually converting into new clients. Okay. So in particular, this one is setting up between Facebook, obviously, and active campaign. And we're going to use Zapier to get active campaign to talk to Facebook. All right. So the first place we need to start at is here in Facebook in events manager. And we get here by clicking on the hamburger bar. You may be in your ads manager hamburger bar here in the top left corner. We'll click on that and we'll click hover on over all tools and you'll see his offline events. So you'll just click on that and you'll end up at this page. Okay. So just double check that you're in your right sort of ad account if you've got a few ad accounts. So here we're going to get started with offline events. Now I'm actually just going to click here on the blue button that says add data source and click on offline event set. Okay, so here's this, create an offline event set for uploading and managing data related to offline activities, AKA sales calls. Okay, so this is where you're going to give it a name, okay. Now I am going to call this the same name as the list that is in my active campaign. So when someone purchases and they become a client, they're going to go into my active campaign list that says the visibility code students. So I'm going to keep that naming convention here in events manager. So I know exactly what's going on. Okay. You can add a description there as well. If things get complicated for you, that's fine. So now we're going to click on create. Okay, assign ad accounts and set tracking. Yes, automatically. No, I don't want to automatically assign for new ad accounts. Okay, I don't want it to go to all ad accounts. So I'm going to turn that off. I only want it to go to this ad account. So next. Okay, so it's been successfully applied for the online event set. Um, I'm going to have access. Okay. Okay, so here you can see we have the visibility code students offline event set and obviously no events have been um, fired because nothing's happened. <laughs> so that's how we created the offline event in Facebook. Okay, now the next step we need to do is to go to Zapier. Now this is assuming that you've already got your list in active campaign. Like I said, I've, um, I've got a list in active campaign that's the same name is my offline events. So you've got your list in active campaign. Now we need Zapier to pass information from that list back here to Facebook to track the offline events. So let's just go here, sorry, to Zapier. And we're going to um, uh, click on explore. Okay, so here's all our apps. What we're going to do is I'll just close them all. So I've got active campaign. And now I'm going to say Facebook and you'll see here, oh, I'll keep typing. There we go. Facebook offline conversions. So I'm going to tick that one. So you'll see here, it says new active campaign contacts to Facebook offline conversions. Obviously the app we're going to use. Okay. So this just tells you a bit about it. Create this app. Okay, so this zap is going to be in effect when a new contact is added to a list. So then when people purchase my product, they'll be um, added to this list in active campaign. Okay. Okay, now you'll select your active campaign accounts. There's a few there. This is obviously the one I need. Save and continue. Okay, so this is the list, like we were saying. This is going to visibility code students. Okay. So we're gonna fetch and continue. 
So as you'll see, test successful. So what's happened here is Zapier has actually created a dummy, okay? A dummy test. That's the information that's all been passed. So we'll click on continue. Now we're going to be sending an offline event from Active Campaign to Facebook. Okay, so here we've got Facebook offline conversions. Ooh, um, let's see. Okay, it's just going to be this one, I think. This is where naming conventions come in very handy. <laughs> So I know which one's which. Okay. Okay, business account. Now I'm going to select the event set. So here it is. It's been pulled in already. Um, if by chance it hasn't been pulled in, then there's a little refresh button that you can click on there. Okay, so here's the email. So it's going to be pulling in the email from Active Campaign. First name, last name. Um, advanced options. Okay, so in hopes of getting a better data match, you can bring in some additional information, okay? So if you do have this information, zip code, date of birth, um, that could be useful because if they have signed up for your program, product or service, and they've used a different email than the email that they use for their Facebook, um, then it's not going to match. Okay, because Facebook's going to be looking for this email address and they've used a different one, which is, you know, what happens 50% of the time. So at least if you have name, phone number, if they've got their phone number there in Facebook, then you'll have a better chance of the data actually matching, which will be great. Okay, so there's additional fields you can fill in. Now here's your value. It's optional, but this is really good to put in so then you can actually see what the sale is worth. Okay, so let's say your sale price is um, $10,000 for this program that people are subscribing to. The currency, that's just USD, AUD, whatever that may be. Okay, and then we're going to click on continue. Okay, so here's a sample of the data that would be getting passed back to um, Facebook. We're going to send a test. Okay. So finish. Then you've got to turn your zap on. And then it's always a good idea, you see, um, to fix these naming conventions. So I wouldn't be putting in here because if you get too many zaps, you don't know what's going on. Okay, great. And our zap is turned on. So click and see it on your dashboard. And oh my gosh, it's going to be uh, a fair way down for me. So it's active campaign to Facebook. There it is, the visibility code for students. So I know which one it is and it's turned on, which is fantastic. Okay, so back to Facebook here. Now if I refresh, let's see if that, um, one has come through. It may take a little, a little while to test it. Okay, um, before the information could pass through to Facebook, it might take five minutes, it might take thirty minutes, forty minutes or so. Um, but that is where you would generally be seeing events that come and get pulled in. Okay. So, like I said, though, you may have events getting passed back here to Facebook, but when you look in your ads, like in the last twenty-eight day window it may not actually turn up in your reporting, okay? Because the email didn't match up. It's as simple as that, okay? So you can come in here and you can see, okay, great. There has been, um, you just uploaded more data that's being processed. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so you can come in here, see how many events have been fired and go, oh, yep, okay, great. The information is feeding through, but it needs to match the, the person's data in Facebook for it to be attributed to one of your ad sets. Okay, so that's how we set up the events manager. We create an online event in Facebook. We create the zap 
which passes the information back from ActiveCampaign to, um, to Facebook. <laughs>